happened to look down. I've been watching. I had four minutes. Now I have one minute. So hello. I made it just in time. We're supposed to go live a minute early when we're in these groups. And today I am in the uh, Crafty Creators group. Um, Tammy has invited us into her group, um, all of my friends here on the page, and it's a free crafting group, and she has a lot of events going on. Um, she has another one going on on Wednesday, I believe, I think I'm at, I'll text you, I'm like five o'clock, I want to say, Eastern time, I'm not sure, I should have looked that up, but there's another one on Wednesday, I'm pretty sure it's for Tammy, um, it's about, uh, bows, ribbons and bows, I think is what it is. But today is about uh, boxes and it's Don't Box Me In is the theme. And so you can um, follow everyone today has like a ton of people. And I've been watching, trying to comment. Um, I think I've been watching in the group though. And everyone's going live from their page and being shared over. So it'll be a surprise when they see that I've been watching them all. Um, but yeah, so anyway, yeah. So hi everybody, hi. Good to go. Hi, Denise. Hi, Randy. Hi, you guys. Well, thanks for coming in. Thank you for saying hello. And um, uh, hi, Jenny. Hello. Hello. Um, oh, well, hi, Pam. Hello. Thank you for following me. Gosh, that's a lot of faith. You have a lot of faith <laughs> in uh, following. I guess you can always unfollow, but wow, that's that's crazy awesome. Hi, Esther. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Deborah. So, okay, I see you guys jumping in. So today, my box is going to look like this. 4 p.m. Central on Tuesday in the event. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's Tuesday. I was thinking it was Wednesday. See, I shouldn't even say anything. I should have looked. Oh, no. My internet just jumped out. Oh, I hope it's not going to do that. I didn't have that trouble yesterday. Ah, I hope that's not. Oh, no. I see that. Give me a hot flash. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. So, when Tammy said she wanted us to do a box, I'm going to keep going. So, if it happens to flash on us again, if you just give it a few seconds, it'll come back. I know that's a pain. Uh, but if you wouldn't mind, um, hang in. I'll, be, I'll still be here. I'm going to keep going. So, anyway. So, years ago, I can't say exactly how many years ago. It's been a few. Um, I... Uh, did a couple of tissue boxes. I had watched the shabby tree years ago and she had made tissue boxes out of poster board. So I did, um, I did the same thing and I laid out the pattern. I told everybody about it. You might be able to find it, um, on the shabby tree. If you type in tissue box, if you want to find mine, um, I might have done it two different days, and it, if you go to YouTube, Tammy Loves Vintage, it, the biggest thing to remember is T-A-M-I, um, it's T-A-M-I, and so T-A-M-I Loves Vintage, and on on um, YouTube, and once you're there, they have a little search, and you can type it in and search for uh, tissue, tissue box, and um, I, ha I mean, I have like, oh, that still has a tissue, <laughs> um, like I have all my little markings on my poster board and you can see where I wrapped my paper up inside and where I seamed the board together and all of the measurements and stuff. And I didn't go in and try to find, let's see, that says five and a half. I can see five and a half. So the top is five and a half, but um, I measured it out to fit a tissue box. So you could um, take your cardboard and just trace around all of the sides and tape them together and then cover it. Or you could, I went to Factory Day Core Direct, um, Debbie Rigg um, with Check Savvy Live had found these boxes, I think, or she might have been doing something else. Oh, I know what it was. It was a, a paper mache purse. And I went to see if I could find the purse, which they've never gotten back in, but they had these tissue boxes. That's what it was. So I found that through her. Anyway, so I think it's a little, like these are, um, you know, they're just poster boards, so they look great. I've loved them for years, but when I found these, um, oh, it's probably, I probably had it for a year waiting to do this, so this just worked out perfect. Hi, Jackie. Thanks for sprinkling. Hi, Denise. Thank you for following. Yes, Chabby Tree is wonderful, Linda. We all love her. Oh, no. It did it again. I don't know why. It's a brand new brand new and it's right there it's right I can almost touch it uh the router so I don't know what's happening it's a beautiful day usually it's stormy weather does it anyway let's keep going so um these fit perfectly over your tissue boxes the only thing you have to make sure is 
that your your ovals at the top are going the same way like you don't want to do that or you can kind of see some of your box so that's the biggest thing about it but I absolutely love them I love how they turned out I love doing vintage look everywhere so one is this one sits by my bed this one's in the master bathroom or I'm sorry the guest bathroom and um, I'm going to make one of these with you guys today and this one is the um, paper mache so there you go you can make your own or you can grab paper mache it was factory decor direct um, you can find the link to the group if you're curious about that you can um, if you you know scroll down at the top of my above me you know the description up here today has the link to her group um, you're Tammy too I know I know you are Tammy and we spell it the same way I absolutely love that because there's not a whole lot um, when I was born my mom said well you know in case you're not very smart I'll keep it short and sweet and so she, she did it, T-A-M-I, instead of T-A-M-M-Y, which I always thought it would be so fun to make all the um, the swoops and swirls with the Y, you know, and all the M's, but whatever. I like the I, because I could do like a little heart over the I or whatever the corny thing I want to do. So it's good. And it's short and sweet and quick. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, okay, so I, I just pulled some papers. The only thing I did ahead of time was just pull some things. I pulled some jewels, I pulled some lace, I pulled some papers, and I've got my a couple of bags of papers here to fill in if I need to. And the one thing I wasn't thinking is I needed some straight edge. Hmm, and I didn't do that. So we'll just have to cut our own straight edges and I can sand them down at the end. But so for now, I'm just going to start wrapping this box and I'm hoping and we have an hour today together. So that's very generous of Tammy to allow that much time. So we should be fine. Um, I've been talking for that. Don't you hate that when you talk and I'm not doing anything? I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. And here I do it too. You just can't help it. You know, you have so much to talk about. So my internet for some reason is going out from time to time. Now, my husband did go downstairs to watch TV. I don't know if that's what caused it. I don't know. I'm not sure. But as soon as we're done here, my brother is in town from um, South Carolina. So we're going over there. As soon as I'm done here, we're going to run over there and see them. So that's nice. We saw them. Um, I think they got here Friday. So we saw them Saturday night, uh, I think. No, no, we saw them Friday night. They got here Thursday night. I saw them Friday night. And then, um, I need to go a little bit higher here. So Friday night and then just for a little while. And then we're going back over today. And they leave tomorrow. So, okay, so when I put on the Mod Podge, um, Ah, Spartanburg. He lives north. He said he's like right on the edge of North Carolina. I believe it's Spartansburg. And now Summer, my daughter, is here from Arizona. She recently sold her house and is um, here um, for a little while. Brought her baby, her husband, her dogs, moved in. And now she is at, we have a little... A little house that we were thinking about downsizing to and she's living there right now um, just last night was her first night there so it's been really crazy around here if you guys are like why haven't we seen you that's why we've moved all of our stuff back we were totally in the heat of downsizing and then um, they wanted to come home my husband wasn't sure he wanted to do it was the biggest hold up anyway so life right huh hey oh is he close to you you're a Greer yes they can talk about Greer yes 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 um yes very close so if summer ends up they kind of want to move to Charlotte so if they end up ultimately in Charlotte then I told my brother I could stop and see him he's only like three hours I think he said from there so it might be a little different path that I would take rather than um you know the original path but how fun how fun to have a place to stay <laughs> and get a visit too. That'll be awesome. So, okay. I'm just going to ramble while I'm doing this, you guys. And listen, I'm not very good at <laughs> answering questions <laughs> as I go. I try to look at you guys um, 
but I am very good at answering you after the fact. So um, since we're going to head over there when I'm done, I might. there you go again. If I am driving, of course, I won't be able to do it. But if my husband's driving, I'll answer some of your questions and say some hellos to you all. Um, but I, I do see all of your comments, good or bad, I see them. So uh, fire away if you have any thoughts, suggestions, whatever, because I do have another box to do. Um, like this, uh, I bought my friend Julie and I get together on Tuesday nights and craft and I had bought her a box as well and thought, oh, we'll have fun doing our boxes and then we've never, we've never done them. I don't know if she just doesn't want a box or whatever, but it didn't excite her like it did me. <laughs> so I need another box for my craft room is why I'm doing this. So in here I have an ugly, I have this ugly tissue box and it, doesn't match a thing because it has color. And as you can see, you know, behind me, I'm very neutral, vintagey. Um, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> we, um, we had to fix, we have to fix this box. So Julie can make her box by herself or I'll make a box and put it in one of my sales. We'll just see. Maybe she'll see this one and say, oh, I want a box. Let's see. I'm out of music. So let's go with a um what is this oh it's a piece of a dictionary let me cut it straight i don't know if you're cutting out i need to keep looking and seeing another newbie did i see another hi juanita from oklahoma thank you so much thank you for following me i love a new girlfriend yay it's so fun to have new friends isn't it and you guys we can all of us will be friends you'll get to be recognizing other people's names and it's so fun so hey we all need friends in this world. <laughs> in Oklahoma, yeah, so are you going to the um, event they're having in Oklahoma here soon? Um, there's a crafting event gonna happen there with, um, uh, um, Kathy and Chris. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys are, oh wait, I'm cutting the wrong end. I am. I'm cutting the wrong. Well, we'll just cut that off anyway. It's a drawing. I don't really care about a drawing. Not of a year or whatever that is. We don't care about that. I'm in Ohio, Linda. I'm in Ohio. Um, so the town is called Zanesville. Let's see. I want it to be offset a little bit from the other one. So the funnest part, funnest, that's not a very good English, but the best part, you know, the most fun, <laughs> that's what I want to say. The most fun about this will be decorating it in the end. That's the best part. So if you need to run to the restroom or fill up your glass or whatever, now's a good time because I'm just gluing. Okay, boring. And look, oh, look, I left a straight edge. We'll cover that up because I hate that. See how that just stands out? Well, this is in between. This is in the middle of a page. But see that? That is so distracting to me. So we're going to take, it looks like a goal post. I don't want that on my box. I want it all, you know, like that. So like those three sides. That side I messed up <laughs> a little bit. You really can't mess this up. But So let's just fix it right now because I'm all covered. So I'm just, while this is still wet, I'm going to lay a piece over that. And I'm looking at the colors of the pages. I'm also looking at the fonts that are on the pages. Um, here's a little calendar from 1938 and 1939. Um, I don't want much of it, but I will take a little bit. And then I've got, I've got to remember to rip my edges. I made a big fuss about that. I did a craft yesterday. I made a big fuss about <laughs> ripping all your edges. And then I put one on today without, oh, what a ding dong. Okay, so there's that. Let's get that on there. Okay, that helped a lot. That helped a lot. I see still a couple down here, but we'll get we'll get we'll get to those. Don't don't sweat. Um, let's see here. Let's rip a little bit of this. Break this one up a little bit because it's all kind of the same. And really, you can see how on the poster board, if you decide to build one, oh, you ran outside of Galapagos. That's nice. I used to drive a big van and sell floor mats, and I would drive down to Gallipolis. Oh, gosh, I was young, before kids, <laughs> and uh, sell floor mats. That was fun. So, okay, I have a ripped-up piece of a receipt here. I'll rip some of that off, but the edge is so pretty. Hmm. 
Maybe we'll put that, is that too big? Oh, it might be too big. Let's just rip it. Oh, oh I know, I know, it hurts, right? It hurts, but it's good. It's all good. See, it's all good. And now I'll have two pieces. I'll have another piece for another um, project. But yeah, so the, the more you layer on, the stiffer your um, poster board would become. So it really held up nicely all of these years. So I use that. Oh, here's a little a little page of German. So I have a website, TammyLovesVintage.com, and on it I have little paper packets for stuff like this, um, $15 and $25. I have large and a small. Of course, the large, you get a lot more pieces and pages. But anyway, they all have a little bit of this German um, German writing. I know you can't see it, but it is. I, I read it, what it says, but I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't read it. So... Um, Anyway, let's put a little bit of that on both sides because that's kind of special. Okay, my stepdad is German, so, uh, and we live fairly near Amish country, and so the Dutch language is kind of a German thing as well, so um, I kind of have access to, it's not easy to find, but I can, I can find it easier than maybe some of you, um, you know. My chances of finding it, at least a book or a something, um, is pretty good. Okay, that's wanting to buckle a little bit, so let me smooth it out. Just keep my eye on it. I'm just using glue and water, you guys, like half and half. And when I do it, I don't measure, I just dump. And if I, when I start to use it, if it's a little too runny, then I add a little more glue. If it's a little too thick, then I add a little more water. Here's the consistency that I have. And it really is like a Mod Podge. I did a project years ago. I don't even remember what it was. I don't know. And um, anyway, that uh, project, I needed um, a lot of glue. I can't remember what it was. I tried to remember yesterday. I can't remember. Anyway, it needed a lot of glue. Let's see here. How am I going to do that? I'm going to cut these little slits so it'll make the turn there. And um, so what was I saying? Now this threw me off for a snap. What was I saying? Who knows, what was I saying? Who knows, what was I saying? Hmm, what was I saying? <laughs> None of you know either. <laughs> I get the nervous rambles. <laughs> I get the nervous rambles. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh, I was talking about the glue. What was he saying? Oh, that I didn't know what the project was. Yeah. So I'm not doing it because it's more economical or anything like that. Thanks, Pat. Um, I'm just doing it because, okay, so see what I have there? I have just like my pieces are hanging. And so now I'm going to go in and kind of tuck them around like that. Like that. And then I'm going to come in here. I'm not sure if you can see, but you get the idea. And just and just tuck them down. Uh, but yeah, I'm not doing it because it's more economical. I didn't check the pricing. So there's what it looks like inside. I see that one's not down. There we go. Um, but I do use a lot of glue. You're right, I do, I do, I do. Um, okay. All right, so once that is used up though, there's no, I don't really, there's a lot of space right there between those paragraphs. Um, I don't really, um, I can't say that I'm going to buy this again uh, because it's so great. It's not, you know. Hi, Sugar Miss Al. Um, thanks for jumping on. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not using it because it's economical or, you know, it's a better product or anything like that. I'm not saying that. I just am using it because I have it and I want to use it up. Because what are you going to do with a gallon of glue? I wish I could remember. I should go back through, well, I say that, I should go back through all of my YouTube videos, but there's like 600 of them. I've been doing this a long time, ladies, so yeah, I'm probably not going to go back through all of them. I'll just tell you the truth. That's a whole lot of Tammy, that's what I tell people. <laughs> that's a whole lot of Tammy. Hi, Alma. Hi, friend. How are you doing today? I'm hoping you guys got my text that I was going to watch. A few friends here. 
here want to text from me to have an idea. I'm not one of these girls that go live every day, so I kind of just go live when I have a, a what I think is a great idea. Um, and so, um, yeah, I'm, I probably, I don't, I know I don't go live as much as a lot of these ladies do. Um, I wear, I paint houses and we have, for a living, I have uh, girls that work with me, a couple girls that are with me, helping me. And um, and then my granddaughter, my she's seven months now. She's been here two months um, from Arizona. So I'm gonna babysit her three days a week. So here's my plan. You got my text? Oh good, Danielle. Um, while she's sleeping, I've got a little, like a little pack and play that my friend Jessica let me borrow. And so while she's sleeping, I, uh, I could just put her like right here and then I can, you know, be in my space and we can maybe do some things because I have several projects that I'd like to do and it's turning pumpkin season and you know, I love to make the pumpkins. Um, your mother's family is German, very creative girl, great grandparents next door. Oh, wow. So did you, oh, and you visited Germany in Paris. Wow. So do you speak German? Um, who was that? Let me see who said that. Oh, Roseanne. Did you, uh, do you speak German, Roseanne? When my kids were little, my stepdad, his name is Franz, um, he taught my kids how to count in German. And then he lived in, they lived in Texas. I'm in Ohio. So it was kind of hard to get together all the time. So we learned a couple of little rhymes, a um, couple of little rhymes and um, how to count. A little bit. Hi Wanda. And um, so that's fun. We know a little bit of German, but not to a German person. If a German, <laughs> I was up in, I was up in Amish country and these guys were at the front desk and they were like, blah, 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 talking, talking. And I didn't understand the word they were saying. So it was time for me, me to check out. And I told them I loved listening to them. I'm a little German. <laughs> so, oh, they were great. So we were, they were old, old, old gentlemen. <laughs> So anyway, I counted for him. <laughs> they kind of laughed at me like, mm -hmm. you kind of have it. <laughs> uh, you know, it's hard to roll your R's and stuff like they, oops, it's hard to roll your R's and stuff like hit, like my husband's name is Randy and Franz will say, Randy. <laughs> I can't do it like he does. I hope he's not listening. <laughs> my mom sometimes watches. Uh, you took German in high school. Your teacher was German. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. Okay, this is just some handwriting here. I'm going to rip off the blank page, and I'm going to save that in case I want it for, you know, kind of in our little private group. We've been dabbling with some journals. I'm just, I'm you know, seeing all these people do it, and I'm like really intrigued, but I'm not, I, what do you do with them, you know? So we've come up with little things we can do. And so I'm kind of kind of digging it a little bit, to be honest. So anyway, I've learned to keep all, pretty much all my scraps that are anything, and we can use them on a journal. And I hate to think how much lace scraps I've thrown away, handmade lace. Spanglish, there you go. There you go, that's awesome. Yeah, so I've learned to not throw anything away. And now that I'm finally, we've got our craft space movie. You guys don't even know. Okay, you could see I have a whole wall full of craft and stuff. And to have it all set up and love how it was and then to have to move it all back home has been a lot. But I thought it's going to be too hard to want to be downstairs crafting when the kids are there. I'll want to I'll be upstairs cooking or not cooking, but like help, you know, helping in the kitchen or whatever they're doing. So... Yeah, I just decided I'm bringing it home, and I used to keep it in our basement, and then I'd go downstairs and get whatever I needed for crafts or up in the guest bedroom, and then I'd go down to go to my dining room and try to do a craft, and it was always such a, oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, I've been on a half hour, and you can't even see me. And there goes my internet flash. Dang it. Why is that doing that today? How many people? 110 people are putting up with that. You guys, you're welcome to catch the replay if you don't want to put up with that. That's awful. Um, that's 
awful. I know I sit through it a lot of times too when people are, you know, some days you don't have anything else to do. Or you're busy doing something and you're just listening and you're not watching. You don't even care about the little blurbs. But dang it, it's frustrating for me here. Couldn't be any closer to the router if I was sitting on it. Okay. So let me, oh, I don't know where to grab it now. It's all sticky tacky everywhere. I'm going to see if I can get in here and lay this all down, okay? And I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. Not very pretty, but I want to show you so that if yours is like this, you won't panic. <laughs> You'll know it's okay. Tammy's was like that too. Okay, let me make sure I'm down. So there's the inside. <laughs> I told you it's not very pretty. And let me press some of this down to lift it. There we go. And make sure it's down. I don't know why I keep going over there. Make sure it's down. Oops, I think I have one spot here I see still brown. So I'm really getting a nice mix of pages. So I'm loving that. And then we're going to do a little bit more um, patchwork. Let's see. Let's put a little dab of music maybe. Hmm. No, I don't like that over here. Hang on, it's kind of crookedy looking. Let me just, oh, well, there you go. It just ripped off itself. So let's just shorten that up a little bit. I'm gonna make sure I get the corner covered. Yeah, I don't like that either. Do I need that over here? A little bit. Okay, let's take some of that off. There we go. Okay, so let me, so I did the corner there, all right? I am gonna throw that away because it's wet. It's just gonna be sticky. I don't need those pieces. Okay, let me make sure that's going to lay where I overlapped. Press it down really nicely. Okay, all right. Yippee. Okay, you guys. And that's good. All right, now what I want to do, a picture. Look at what did I lay out here. Oh, here's a little bit more handwriting I laid out. Oh, here's a T. I found a T. Little playing card. That's kind of cute. Since it's going to be in my craft room. Let me see about a tea here. Maybe we'll just stick a tea on there. Why not? It's a little game card. They have like some with little rabbits. I don't know what the game was. I better get some underneath there too. I don't want to stick very well if it's dry. Okay. Um, I don't know what the game was, but I have several of these cards. Okay. All right. Now, I didn't think about the drying part. <laughs> I didn't think about that. But I love, look at the handwriting here. How cool. And it's inter It's just interesting. And right now, your eye, it's just like, like I do. I told you we do painting and we do faux finishing on walls and stuff. Not a lot anymore like we used to, but um, a lot of times when you're just looking at that and there's no furniture or whatever in the room, it might look a little like it, um, like a lot. Um, but when you hang a picture, your focus goes to the picture and then you add the couch and then the background becomes this beautiful background. And so it's kind of like this with this, um, the more elements that I add when this part's done, the better. Um, and it'll just push all of this stuff to the background. It'll make it better. So, um, yeah, right now I'm just kind of trying to make it a, a little interesting. Um, here's some people's names. First grade book. Oh, here's second grade books. <laughs> no, not like that. Let's see. Let's rip off this tablet part. Okay. And then I'll rip off this plain page because, again, that's great for journals. And then this one has some scribble marks on it, so we don't want that. It's nothing on the back. And then if I rip this in half, I've got a nice piece from the front and a nice piece from the back with writing on it. So let's split that again. And this one's got lines in it, though. I don't really want that. That right there. What time is it? We got a half hour. Oh, we are so good. I knew I would have time to do this whole thing. I didn't do any prep work, you guys. Nothing. We are doing this 100% together. Okay, do I need any more? 
Hmm. I do not of that. Let's see here. I've got I've got a um, I've got some stuff here that I keep in a bag. I have some tickets and some little pictures and some cards. Kind of started collecting little things for junk journaling. I sit and look at um, like the little kids' books that I tear up, and there's like all of these little pictures um, that I can use. Like here's a bee and a coffee cup. That's kind of cute. Let's just use that because it's little. And that'll pop, it'll kind of pop right here. Okay, let's do that. Let me put some glue down here so it hits. And however it wants to land is fine by me. I'm not, let's see, I don't want it too straight. There we go. Okay, so there's that. And this will all dry clear. Okay, it'll all dry clear. Um, and then I have a little bag and I've been working, I sat and watched TV the other day and cut a bunch of more words out. And I find that some of like the kids coloring books have nice big words. And um, I follow um, Michelle at uh, the Vintage Daisy and she likes to do little, um, little messages. And so you can see these are much bigger than like regular typing is, uh, well like regular typing is like this. You know, so see how if you want to find the word grace here, it's really hard to read. But when you find it in kids books, it's kind of neat. And then you can throw that on here and it's just, it's right there. So let me clean it up. I did, I don't clean them up when I'm whacking them out. I just get them kind of trimmed around. And then I figure when I sit here, I only have one word to straighten up. <laughs> so uh, let's see, where do we want to put this? Here's a spot doesn't really matter but just nice words but Tammy likes to make little she calls them see or Tammy thinking of Tammy the, the crafty creator uh, crafty creators community yeah and so there's grace I know it's backward I wasn't planning on you guys reading anything so sorry about that uh, love kisses sweet smile flowers honest you just find words that would work um, there's heart Destiny, this is love. Um, maybe I'll go with heart since it's a little bit smaller. Um, actually, I trimmed that one pretty good. So let me see if I can find a place where it won't, it might be too small. There's heart. See how it's kind of small? I don't think I'm gonna use it. It's too small. So okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. I can always add more later. So now what I want to do, I'm gonna keep this edge as smooth as I can. And I kind of, kind of, kind of, oh yeah, so I have this whole bag full of words too that I never put them away. Figured I'd do it in a minute um, when we were done here. Let's see, and I have little numbers that I found on Etsy, but they're, yeah, they're too small. I think I've got enough happening here. So what I need to do now is, I've got to decide if I just want to use this Mod Podge glue. Hmm, usually it's dry. Hi, Roseanne. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm glad you like that idea. Um, Jeannie, uh, let's see. Um, there was a question about the glue. I just do half and half, like Elmer's glue and water. If you if you need some Mod Podge and you don't have any Elmer's glue and water, and that's what I have in my. Um, I get this at Hobby Lobby back in the jars, and that's what I have in my little Mod Podge jar. And the little gasket keeps it from drying out, and I just grab my little jar. So anyway, half and half. And if it's too runny, I said to add more glue because the glue's thicker. And if it's too thick, add a little water. And there you go. So I need it to dry. I need it to dry. I have a dryer right here, but I hate sitting and drying with you guys. But gosh, if I did this ahead of time, I'd have had it all done. I mean, just at least dry it to where I can handle it without it uh, pulling the paper off. Let me just dry it a little bit. It shouldn't take but a second here. We've got plenty... Plenty of time if you want to sit and watch me dry. So exciting, isn't it? Watch me dry. <laughs> oh, man. It's a thrill. It's a thrill for all of you. Aren't you glad you're here? <laughs> it is drying fast. Fast enough that I'll be able to handle it. This side here. <laughs> I, ah, I slapped it on pretty hard with that card. Pretty heavy. My internet. I don't know why it's too the only thing I can think is Randy's downstairs, so there's a TV on, but it's the only TV in the house. So, weather's nice. I'm going to have to call 
the cable company. Ugh. I'm gonna reboot me. I said it's a brand new thing. When I was moving all this stuff, I had my office in here, his desk, the printer, our you know supplies and stuff. I moved that all to my dining room of all places. Um, anyway, yeah. So, but it's okay. It's okay, and it sure looks better than this craft stuff in the dining room. I can tell you that. Anyway, um, I I must have pulled on a wire or something, and my internet went out. Well, both. Both Summer and her husband, Sean, both work from home. So I had to run into the cable company to get another box. I get in there, they didn't have any. So they had to ship me one. So luckily I got it in one day. Oh, I, I always get myself in trouble. I swear to you, I'm, I'm always in trouble. <laughs> and I try so hard. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, it's brand new. It's been hooked up now for like three days. So I don't know why I'm in trouble. Here we go. Tr more trouble. All right, that's good enough, you guys. I'm rambling. I'm rambling to keep you uh, here. <laughs> so, okay. Now what I want to do, I just, while I was waiting and watching everybody else, I added this little bit of trim around the bottom of these boxes that I made before. And I added a little bit of trim around the top. And I really like, I really like that. So, whoops, there's the one. And then... Here's the other one. It's just a little bit different of a trim and then a different trim on the top. So I thought I, I had enough left. I don't have enough to go. Oh, golly. I do have enough left to go around the bottom with this. Oh, but I don't need it on the bottom of this really. Hmm. And I don't have enough. Oh, I'm going to have to find something else if I do that. Hmm. I really liked it around here too. Oh, poop. Um, poop, poop, poop. Let me see here. Let's see if I have anything that would work. Oh, this might work. No, that's so thin, but that might work. Okay. Um, oh, here, this is maybe cuter with a little bit of ruffle to it. Yeah, let's use this one. Okay, hang on. See how handy that was? I just stood up and grabbed more lace. Okay, here we go. Let's do... This one around the top. Better get my glasses back on. I can see. Uh, oh, thank you. I'm just gonna go part of the way. Hot gluing. Uh, I should make sure that the top is up. The up is up. And the down is down. Okay. This is just vintage lace. It is not handmade. I can tell. Okay, one more little, hope it'll make that turn. Oh yeah, nice. Nice job, Lace. And it kind of even wants to stand up a little bit, which I like, it kind of fluffs it. Cute, okay, that was lucky. And then back to its meat there, back to the edge. And we'll catch that, because it was kind of really close to the edge there. All right, and then let's cut this off. You guys, I do try to do kind of different things. These days, with all of the crafters, it's hard to be unique, you know? It's hard to be different. So, But we do different things. If we have time in the end, I can show you some things here behind me. My whole house is full of handmade. A little crock. Yes, it is Sainsbury from England, Phyllis. Yes, I sold a whole ton of them. I had a lady that um, I connected with, and... Um, they were just so expensive with shipping and stuff, but my true, true followers, a lot of them were able to get pieces. Um, I think that one's still on my website, actually, those two. That's a new mole. Um, it's a bodybuilder, um, lectin food, yeah, bodybuilder, something tonic, and then the Sainsbury. I think both of those are still on the website. Um, TammyLovesVintage.com. You guys, and Tammy Loves Vintage everywhere. If you're like a TikToker, Look up Tammy Loves Vintage. I've got some TikToks on there. I was going strong on TikTok. I was loving it. It was so fun. It was easy for me to figure out, you know. You know, that's important. And <laughs> I could do it. So I was really having fun with it. And then we, I had done a, a wall mural of a map of, um, like, we had... We used to have a boat and we boated all the time with all of our friends and all of the kids and all that stuff. And... 
so I, I sent a mural and I put like all of our boats and all of the, like I hand, tried to hand draw as best I could. I'm not an artist, but somehow I was, God was with me on that project because I did pretty good. Um, and I like, um, like I had like the Smiths, our friends were the Smiths. So I had Smith Rock and McLean's, our friends. I had McLean Marsh and Phillips Forest and you know, I had all of the Allender Isle, like all of our friends' last names, and I had like a location for their families, and it was super fun. Well, anyway, I thought I'm going to do a TikTok on this because I was, I didn't even take a picture of it when I left. I was so sad. I hadn't even really finished it like completely when we sold the house, so I didn't even get to enjoy it, all the work, but anyway, the people that bought the house had me back in to change some wallpaper in the kitchen a few years later, so I got some pictures of it. So I was trying to do a TikTok. Listen to me ramble. I am such a rambling man. Um, but anyway, I was trying to do a TikTok and Randy, my husband, came up with this song. Because I'm like, I need the perfect song. So he tells me the song. So I go to Apple or wherever you have to go to buy your music. And I bought the song. And I put it on my YouTube thing. And YouTube sent me a thing. They, they like said, you, you know, you can't do that. This is your warning, whatever. I'm like, Holy night. So... I haven't done a TikTok since. They scared me. They scared me away. <laughs> yeah. So see, I'm a big baby like that. You spank me, I'm done. I'm 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 forever in trouble. <laughs> and that's the truth. Um, yeah. So okay, I had a button. I can't find it. So let's just get some more. I've got a little a little jar here of of buttons. I'm gonna dump some out. How are we doing? All right. Okay. Hi, you guys. Oh, you're saying hi to each other. Hi, Shayna. Hi, Dudson. You again. And Phyllis. Oh, well, thank you, Karen. Hello. Thanks, Sassy Chic and all things unique. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Um, okay, I need a good... Oh, here's a good button. Now, I like the buttons with strings. We talked about this yesterday. Group. So, see how that has strings in it? It's just a little more texture. Like, here's a button I cut up. But there's one without the strings. See how the strings just add a little something to it? Um, I don't know. It's a picky little thing. But I love when the strings are hanging in there. And uh, the more strings, the better, really. So there. I'm just finishing where I overlapped, okay? So there. Okay. So there's that. Then I pulled some lace here. And the one thing I wasn't thinking my spray adhesive I didn't get my spray adhesive out hmm that wasn't very smart oh and I got pretty up every corner is pretty but I thought it might be fun to run lace up a corner oh but see I have German there and handwriting there I have that little coffee cup there I'm covering everything up there's writing there it's got to be this one so shoot all right one second one one second let me grab my um Okay, I got my spray adhesive and then I have to come over here. I have a board. So I'm going to use, um, so, so sorry about that. I'm going to use Super 77. Um, it's just a spray adhesive. And I'm going to tack this down with that. So I'm just spraying it generously. Sorry I didn't have that together. I thought of it and I didn't do anything about it. Okay. So you kind of want to let it sit for just a minute and then it'll get tacky sticky. Like see, it's, it gets sticky. There's all sorts of spray adhesives. I've used up, like we did a lot of stenciling in the day, in our day. Um, so we always had stencil adhesive that works as well. Just anything to adhere. Um, and this will last for years, you guys. And if, you know, when you're moving your tissue box around and stuff, it might come loose. Like, you know, this, this little thing here might flap. I'll just hot glue it and tack it down that way. Um, it's not, not a big thing, which I'm gonna go ahead and do now because I must have missed that little edge, but, and I'd, if that hot glue will be tougher than the spray, but the spray will hold it just fine. Oh, my internet, dang it. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. And then I thought it might be fun to get a little bling in here. So I have this bling from Amazon, again from Debbie Riggs. She's like a quite a, um, gives me lots of good ideas. So this is really skinny, teeny, tiny. I bought it in silver and in gold. I should have put it on first, but I thought 
thought it might be fun to just get a little sparkle on it. Yeah, just a little bit. Can you see that? Just a little bit. I'm not a super sparkle, although I did lay out some jewelry. Um, I'm not like super crazy sparkle bling. Now, I like to wear it, <laughs> but in my crafting, I mean at Christmas time, of course, and all that, but um, I'm not super blingy, but I definitely always like a, a touch, just a touch. Um, it's just another element, and it's it adds, it kind of is a catch your eye sort of thing. Um, whoops, I need to move my messages down. I, I look, pulled it up to see who was saying what, and I didn't pull it back down, so I'm missing all the new... These people who have their husbands sit and read for them. Wow. My husband wouldn't do that in a million years. In a million billion years. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm sorry my internet's being so stinking bad. Okay. Tomorrow. Oh, golly. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I had my phone plugged in and I just dropped my, um, I just dropped my, I'm having a time here. That's probably the worst thing that's ever happened. I just dropped my glue gun right in the middle. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I cracked my glue gun. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, see, there's my phone charger. I had my phone charged because I always have this fear of losing you. I'm so sorry. You guys still here? <laughs> Oh, and my new friends. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so there, they just unfollowed. Or I don't know, that's entertaining, I suppose. <gasps> Aw, thank you, Deb. My husband made me this glue gun rack, and it works really well most of the time. Again, remember, this is a new craft space for me. It's only the second time I've used it, so and when I say a new craft space, I'm not kidding. So I haven't quite got all the kinks worked out yet. Working on, okay, this is so tiny. Perfect. Okay. This is my first time to use this too. This this um, bling. Whatever it is, it's a chain on Amazon. If you need a link, um, just put chain chain link on the um in the comments and when I have a minute I'll get it for you. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's really nice because it's so dainty. It's really sweet. Um, okay. All right. That was big. Oh, I'm glad you're still here <laughs> between the internet and me knocking my phone off. Oh, holy moly moly. Okay, so one thing I was thinking about doing, but I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. I don't think I need it was I was going to sew. I've learned the sewing and, oh, I need to put you down so you can see, oh, you guys, were you looking at my ceiling that whole time? Okay, I'll get that for you, Roxanne, later, um, cause we're gonna head to my mom's when I'm done. So if I'm drying, I'll, driving, I won't, I won't get to it until tonight, tonight. But okay, Regina, I'll do it for you. But so when you sew, instead of laying your fabric and it looks like that, when you sew it, it becomes a ruffle. Uh, a really pretty ruffle. Yes, Je um, Je Jeannie, we did. Hi, Jeannie Meredith. Yes, we did. Um, Summer, my daughter, is back from Arizona, and they've moved into the little house. They wanted to go there. The big house was just too much for them. Um, but let me see if I... Here. So this was a flat lay doily. This, this ruffle piece right here was a flat lay doily, and we cut the center of it out and sewed it to where we could pull it and ruffle it. So see how you get all this fluff? And that makes it um, fluffy, <laughs> more unique. So um, I kind of like the sewing, even though you guys follow me a lot know. Hi, Linda. The, you that follow me know I don't like sewing. I may add this too, but I don't have a whole lot of time left. I suppose we could do a little bit. What would I be covering up? Not a whole lot. And I didn't get out, the only thing I'm thinking is I didn't get out my um, needle and thread, which it's just right there. Um, and then I have, and I was thinking, I have a hunk of lace, 
So I was kind of thinking about, I have something on this corner and I was kind of wondering if I wanted to run another little piece of something here. Let me see myself first and I can show you, see it's backwards like another corner, but I don't, I need opposing corners, which means I would have to, no, I can't do that unless I just do a little tiny, um, but how do I get it back down? Hmm. You guys, I don't think, unless I gathered it. No, I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, too much pressure, <laughs> too much pressure. <laughs> Ah, it's too much pressure. Okay, all right, so let me think. Do I wanna sew that or what? Let me grab my snippet drawer. I have a little drawer of little pieces. That's what I need because I need texture. I need some texture. Thank you, Linda, that's so sweet. Thank you for the stars. Um, I need a little bit of texture. Here we go, this is perfect. Let's just cut a piece off of this. I've used it on something else. And let's just, okay, so I'm gonna have something up there. Let's do a little grab right here of it. So because I want it to kind of stay not tight and flat, I'm just gonna do hot glue. I'm gonna hot glue the actual lace so that I can kind of gather it on the piece. Okay, so there we go, there we go. So I just gather it just a little bit and then I need all of these pins are, oh, I don't like that one. Oh, this one's really pretty. Maybe that would be pretty. Okay, so let's cut. I'm gonna cut the pin, the old pin off of this, throw it in the trash, and then I'm gonna cut off the hook of that. And then I'm just, usually I would do buttons, but I kinda like that. Is that weird though with the gold bling? Am I better to pile some buttons on here? Oh, maybe I am. Maybe I am. Or a or a dangle. Mm, that matches the bling really well. Um, I don't think I want to take. Oh, I've got I've got time. I don't mean to be like hurrying or anything. But let's see here. Here's here's a couple with strings. Let's do those. I like the strings. First, I got a couple other for you for my next live sale. I don't know when that'll be just yet. My life's a little um, crazy, but I will text you. If you want to text me, I started something else I started to say. If you want a text notification when I'm going live, my number is, um, um, what is my number? <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't said it in so long. Um, what is my number? 273-6693, but what is it? Um, what's the beginning of it? Seven, four. Oh, I don't even know my own number, you guys. I'm not going to tell you because I'm afraid. I'll put it in the comments <laughs> if you uh, put type number. <laughs> just put number in there, and I'll give you my I'll give you my cell phone number. All you have to do is just text me and say hi, and then I'll let you know whenever I'm going live because I usually only go live if I'm invited to an event um, and can do it. I'll go live, or if I have. Um, a great idea which I have a few ideas and I have we're coming on you know fall and Christmas so I've got some things that I want to make that one's too dark um, let's see here if we can do a bow so I've got some things I want to make so I'll be going live thanks Pam yes I will give you my number and listen when I send it I'll put it in the in your comment here for you um, it's linked in the at the top of my page but I hate to make you guys go look for it but um, shame on me for not knowing my own number. It's a service I pay for. Oh, there it is. So I couldn't remember the, the zip code or the area code, Linda. Thank you. I knew the 2736693. Okay. Thank you so much for putting that. There you go, Pam and Regina. There you go. Don't I stink? I, I'm just uh, terrible at this. So, okay, let's put, let's put something, a little bit of texture here on the side of this box. You guys can see that you can just keep adding and adding. And then from the bottom of the seam binding bow, I got my string going up. I'm gonna pull that down. There we go. And then I wonder if I wanna add 
that. I think I do, I do, I do. So let's cut the back of this earring off. This is just vintage jewelry that I pick up from time. Thank you for the stars, Paula. I pick up from time to time. That's so, that's so nice of you. This video has been a train wreck. I hope, Tammy, I hope you have me back in the CCC. Oh, yes, yes, I need a key, don't I? You're right. No, yes. Um, and I'm not, I love this, but it needs something here. But I know, I think I'm going to sew this. Maybe next time I come live, I'll sew this and finish this up with you guys. Um, rather than rushing through because I have five minutes. Um, but yeah, I think I really like that. And that's going to add a lot to this whole thing. As far as texture goes, it'll give it a lot of dimension. And yeah, okay, Danielle wants a key. So let's throw an old key in here. I do. I kind of put old keys on everything. <laughs> it's kind of, <laughs> kind of do. See, my friends know me so well. Thanks for reminding me of that. Kind of forgot about that. Maybe we'll do another bow over here. Because, you know, when you throw your tissues in the box, you never know. It doesn't matter which side is up or whatever. I don't really care. So which side the people see because it's pretty all the way around. And then I can enjoy it. Um, I can enjoy all the sides. Because I think this one's probably my nicest one construction-wise because I use the paper mache instead of my um, the ones that I made. Yeah, keys and clocks. I could do a clock face too. Make sure I got enough time. Boy, I was worried I wouldn't have enough time or I would have too much time. And I ended up, it's hard to know how long, you know, if you think about it, how the heck do you know how long it's gonna take you to make something, right? So if you're following me, you'll get to see, oh, that's a nice little ploy, a nice little way to get you to follow me <laughs> if you wanna see. But I will post um, a picture of it when it's finished for you. And I still have the box I got for Julie so I could actually post a before and an after picture. So there's a little key stuck on there. Maybe we could do another little um, another little bundle. Let's see, I need a longer piece. These are just scraps that when I make something and I cut the ends off, I keep it and um, call it a snippet. And I've been keeping those. And it's amazing how many things I've made. So I wasn't crazy for that sideways corner. So I think I'll put it there. I'm just gonna put some hot glue. I'm using seam binding. If you've not heard of seam binding, it's a really nice vintage ribbon and um, it's very thin and it's stainable and wrinkleable. Wrinkle. Um, I can sh there's videos on YouTube about how to do that. And if you need a link for seam binding, you can put that, put a uh, ribbon. I'll know what you mean. Um, let's see here. I just need a really small face. There's one under here. I see. Let's add a little clock face to that. Oops, I don't want it upside down. What do you think of that? I think it needs a button too. I'm not, I'm, I like it, but I'm not digging it 100%. So let's, let's see, where's the 12? There it is. Okay. Okay, got it. So I'm gonna put some hot glue on that. Hopefully, oh, hopefully, oh, oh shoot. Hopefully something will stick there, but not what I don't want to stick. Okay, so there's that. I held it up a bit so that I could add a button. I need just like a small little button. Nope, it's too big. I need a little tiny button. Here's a little button with the string. Let's see if I like that better. I like that better. So let's add a little button. Oh, I hope when I look up, you guys are looking at this and not the ceiling or my chin or something. Yeah, you can see. So there's a little pile of stuff on there. So here's where we are. And I think I'm going to call it, I need a little, I need some more stuff. Um, you know what? I think we'll just come back. Um, tomorrow. It won't be tonight because I'm going to go see my brother, but I think we'll come back tomorrow and I'll just do a quick little, um, well, it'll be tomorrow late afternoon because I have to work. I have to, I have to strip wallpaper tomorrow in the bathroom. Super nice lady though. Super nice lady. So, you know, I get, I say yes to jobs that I don't really want to do when they're nice. <laughs> so we're going to, we'll sew this 
and all I'm going to do is whip it, whip it, whip it, and then we'll glue it down. And then I might add a few more little things because there's nothing really, just that little bundle there. I don't want it to be like dripping, but I want it to be pretty on all sides. And I think it's fine, but I think I can do just a little bit more. So you guys, my time is up. I have one minute. So thank you for watching. It's so nice to meet all of my new friends. Make sure you text, um, you text me at 740-273. 6693. Thank you, Linda, for posting that. And just say hi. And that automatically lets me know that you want to get notifications when I'm going live. Because like I said, I don't, I'm not on any schedule. You might, not, oh, you might not see me for a month and then I'll be on like three days in a row. You just never know. So anyway, I'll see you. Have a great evening. Thank you, Tammy, with the Crafty Creators community. Make sure you guys type that in and go check out the group. You can catch all of the replays. And Sassy Frass Creations, I wrote it down there, is up next. We'll see you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you, Tammy. Bye.